Today we're here talking about our DWT, vertical turbine pumps, how to set the impellers, what steps to take in installation, and then also impeller adjustment. We'll also show you what happens to impellers when they're not adjusted properly at that point. Today we're going to show you component parts that were improperly adjusted in the field as a installation issue. Here we have a new impeller. You can see there's no damage on it. We have balance marks on it, so components are balanced. That's a new impeller. And as if the pump is not adjusted properly, what it does is it will take and side load on the shaft. The impeller is dragging on the face, and it'll cause the impeller to self destruct, and ultimately, your pump's going to fail in the field. And then the next calls to us about my pump's not working. Our next step is to check our head shaft to make sure it's straight. We use rollers at the factory in the field. We take an indicator. We're going to adjust our indicator within two thousandths. As we check our shaft, we turn it and roll it. If it's good, then we check, take it to the next step, check each end. After we check each end, make sure it's straight and it's ready for installation. We're back. Our next step is to check rotation. We want to make sure it's counterclockwise. We want to turn one rotation. Once we check rotation and have that correct, we want to lock out tag out. After that step's complete, we're going to install our shafting that we've already checked and make sure it's straight. We're going to install it here. This should slip freely in here all the way down. And from here we're going to tighten it up and then we'll adjust our impellers. After we have our shaft down and installed, we install it left-handed threads. We want to make sure we have threads on the bottom and threads on top of this coupling to ensure that that pump is centered. There's also a hole here just to make sure uh, that you have any kind of relief for lubrication. So once that's tight, give it a good snap. That's tight. Now it moves together. We'll go back to the top of the motor for adjustment. Next step, our lateral adjustment. And install the drive key for the coupling on top of the motor. Install our adjusting nut. It's left-handed threads. We're going all the way down until it touches. And from this point, we're going to turn this nut until we break free our impellers and our motor. So we'll know and that's where we start our lateral adjustment. So we're turning this. There's one turn, two, two and a half. Now we broke free. So we, we know our impellers are free and, and ready for our lateral adjustment. This is a 12C bowl unit. We have one inch of lateral, so we're going to set it at 70%, which will be seven turns on a 10 thread shaft. So we're going to take this adjusting nut, line up this hole here. You can mark it if you want to, and just count the revolutions. There's one, two, three, four, five, there's six, and there's seven turns, and we're going to install our lock bolt to adjust this back and forth a little bit. So that's installed. We're going to tighten this down. This keeps the, the adjusting nut from backing off. We'll tighten this up and our pump will be ready to start. We'll make sure all of our valves and everything are in line for startup testing. Also on some of the bigger units you may have a, a bolt hole in your shaft here for an eye bolt. Pick it up with a weight indicator and you can be able to calculate your weight for your impellers and your shafting to know when you're off the bottom and then turn that. So now we're at 700 thousandths and we see we've rose up on our shafting. We can spin it by hand and we're ready to go. With each pump you'll receive a DWT manual and for settings over 500 feet, it says please contact the factory. 
You'll also find on the back of the manual, it'll have a number for the Lubbock facility. Please contact us prior to setting your impellers for the vertical turbines over 500 foot.